Alright, uh, it's like 7.30, 8.30. Um, we had a full day of riding and made it to to call. Um, we are actually inside the park at a... Would you, would you call this a resort? No, this is um, this is a hotel called The Jungle something. The Jungle something or other. And it's aptly named because we are inside the jungle for sure. Mm -hmm. Bugs, rain, trees, plants aplenty, animals that'll kill you apparently which we haven't seen. Oh, there's one of the biggest ants I've ever seen. There he goes. There. So now you know we're not lying. Um, the electricity is on only during certain times of day mm -hmm. because they have generators that are providing it. And they don't want to disturb the animals. Correct. Don't want to disturb the animals or the residents. Um, uh, our signal is shoddy. Um, our GPS is a little, uh, a little tough to get as well. We came in in the severe downpour slash thunderstorm. We were in a, <laughs> the wettest we've been so far, yep. hands down. Yeah, soaked to the bone. We have two days here, so hopefully we'll be able to dry out, which <laughs> may be also difficult because it is wildly humid. Mm -hmm. um, we're sitting down for dinner tonight, um, which seems like it's going to be pretty good. We'll seems see. like a pretty solid one, but we'll see if Joe gets vegan or not. <laughs> um, favorite thing, least favorite thing about today, goal for tomorrow. Favorite thing, hands down, was a little romp through the dirt that we had. Uh, mm -hmm. The dirt road was fantastic. Mm -hmm. it, was, it was a lot of fun. And then, you know, other things that were really enjoyable is we had a great ride through mountainous jungle, which was beautiful. Right. The whole thing was beautiful. Lots yeah. of variety. Yeah. Not too many troubles at the border, although I would say that, you know, that was probably the worst part because it was so hot. You mm -hmm. know, um, a little bit of disjointed around the Guatemala side. Sure. Sure. But they were all nice and took care of us, so yep. it turned out really well. And goal for tomorrow? The goal for tomorrow is just to see as much of Tikal as I can. I've been here before, but it's big enough to where I couldn't see it all. I, I it's was like Disneyland. Yeah. Are there any rides? If you slip, okay. there may be a ride. That would be a ride. Yeah, so. I'll take that. Um, my favorite part of the day, um, maybe the off-road. The off-road was good. Uh, my bike's not nearly as well prepared as Joe's is to do it, so that made it sort of a, an anxious and anxiety-inducing time for me. Uh, what I did like, though, is that as we went through Guatemalan towns, there are a lot more people that are out and about, mm -hmm. and it's just a lot more to see and experience, which was pretty awesome, because on the Mexican side, we rolled through towns that looked like ghost towns, yeah. and often there wasn't a whole lot going on, but there was a lot more here. Uh, least favorite part, I'd say, also the border. Um, just brutally hot and slow and kind of not really like obviously we don't speak the language so we're sort of sent one direction to only be brought back to another direction and to you know have to go back and just it all feels a little bit like a mess um, but we made it through um, no errors this time with cards or anything <laughs> and uh, my goal for tomorrow is also to ideally I would I mean we're going to Tikal but I would like to get some good footage of Tikal because um, every day that we've been riding has been sort of like slapdash. Mm -hmm. And tomorrow I've got time to just yeah. bring everything out and really, really get it. Um, so hopefully the update after this, or two updates after this, will be a really good setup of, of to call. Um, and now I'm ravenous. You're ravenous. Um, and we will let you know if he gets an actual vegan meal. <laughs>